welcome back to another grocery haul and welcome back to One Pay Box. I'm actually using my DSLR camera to film this because my phone is acting crappy. Um, so, there we go. I haven't used this camera in forever. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to hop into it. I'll give you the grocery, I mean the menu plan as I go. I um, It's just easier that way. But you see, um, toilet paper. Don't skimp on toilet paper, y'all. Stop buying the cheap stuff. <laughs> I won't come to your house if you have cheap toilet paper. Just kidding. Um, some Tide with Downy. You guys know that's my favorite. And some Downy. I got some hairspray because I've been out of hairspray forever. And I'm hoping it helps with the humidity in my hair. I also picked up these two Yankee Candle wax melts one in the coconut beach the other in the home sweet home home sweet home is one of my favorites um but i love the coconut beach as well um this is the hair color that i use i do my own just because i picked up the equate version of um, mucinex because i'm over the sinus stuff a big bag of cotton balls i actually wanted a hundred pack a hundred count they gave me a 200 count because they were out and I use that to remove the wax from my wax warmers. I picked up Shelby just a few things of dog food because um, when I stopped Thursday, I stopped Thursday to pick up some stuff because my husband and one of the twins went on a football tournament. Um, that is why I did not go live last night um, and they will be home before you see this video. I just figured I better take a little bit of so, uh, social responsibility and not give that information out and in a live you guys know he pops in and I knew there would be questions and I don't want to lie to cover it up and it was just the most logical thing to do so today is Saturday you guys will see this Saturday night um, tomorrow I'm gonna make gumbo so I have a green pepper some serrano peppers a white onion some celery I have garlic in the ice box my husband will pick up the seafood tomorrow. I also have some frozen okra that you'll see in a second. But I am allergic to seafood. <laughs> well, I can have like catfish and trout. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to make some pizza egg rolls and I do those in the air fryer. I might film that. So you may have that video coming up this week. Um, keep your eye out for that. Um, you may get some crazy when I do it because my house gets crazy sometimes. But um, I've been wanting to share that with you because it's very easy. Um, a few bananas. One super blend salad mix. This will make two salads for lunches. Um, I have one more in there just for something different. I get We get tired of just regular lettuce for salad and these have different kinds of like this has this has Brussels sprouts, Napa cabbage, um, caro oh gosh I cannot even say that another kind of cabbage I think um, broccoli, carrots and kale I love kale. Um, I have some stew meat here I am going to make a pot of stew in the crock pot one day for an easy meal um, yum we have not had stew in a while I realize it's hot you guys it's 108 degrees today and tomorrow with the heat index um, that's hot but a little a little cup of stew with some cornbread just sounds really good I have some big chicken breasts back here I may not use them all for the chicken um, bacon broccoli alfredo but I um if I don't, I'll just cook the other one and then cut it up for salads one day as well. I have some uh, lean ground beef. That is for some beefy gravy and rice. We like that really well. With um, some red lobster biscuits you'll see in a second and some um, green beans. There is a big pack of bacon. That is a pound and eight ounces. I am going to make BLTs for dinner tonight with french fries. Um, again, it's hot. And that is just something that is not heavy and it will just be something we haven't had in a while. Who doesn't like a BLT? Well, I guess if you're vegan, you wouldn't, but we are not. Um, one gallon of sweet tea. We still have almost a full gallon in the ice box. A two pound pack of frozen, of frozen, of um, carrots. Uh, 
we like to nosh on them as long with, along with celery and I need them for the stew. Three ripe beautiful tomatoes, um, a red onion which I did not show you all ago, a pack of strawberries. They were not so great last week and these are looking a little mm, so I mean they look good but as far as taste they were a little eh so we'll try them. We may just have to just move away from strawberries for a while. I also have two English cucumbers. I'm going to make a cucumber tomato and red onion salad as well as having cucumber slices. Yummy, yummy. Um, here, Shelby needed some more dry food. I got my husband a six pack so he doesn't have to stop on the way home. The boys needed some more corn dogs, some more pizzas, and I got them some chicken patties for chicken sandwiches this week. They also have these Velveeta shells and cheese cups, as well as four great big cans of SpaghettiOs. Yes, they love SpaghettiOs. It's crazy. You'll see two cans of Spam back there. My husband loves Spam, egg, spam or Spam and Egg sandwiches for breakfast in the mornings. I'm actually going to do some meal prep tomorrow. I may film that as well and go ahead and cook all of it up so I don't have to do it in the mornings. And I can just heat it up, put it on toast, and move on. Frozen broccoli florets, frozen green beans, cut okra, some seasoned French fried potatoes. We have tried these before. They are really good. Those will go in the air fryer tonight while I'm making the BLTs. Um, some spaghetti, some tea bags, three brown gravy mix, one slow cooker beef stew. I love that stuff. It really makes my stew easy and it seasons it well and I don't have to worry about it. I was out of are almost out of freezer bags in the gallon size, um, almost out of foil. I've been out of plastic wrap for a long time, so I went ahead and picked some up. Red lobster biscuits, apples and cinnamon oatmeal, <sighs> a big thing of chicken broth, uh, I think I said spaghetti noodles, some organic bay leaves. I was out of bay leaves. Um, the organic was cheaper than the regular, so whatever. And you got more, so check your prices, peeps. Um, a thing of hatched red diced tomatoes and jalapenos. I thought I was going to make cheese dip, but <coughs> I'm not sure. A cantaloupe, which I will be cutting up. Two cans of diced tomato with basil, garlic, and oregano. Um, a thing of Weiler's chicken cubes, uh, pizza sauce, and I don't think I needed it. I think I have one in there, but that's okay. We can always use it. Have it on hand is a good thing. Peanut butter. <coughs> Sorry, guys. This creamy peanut butter from Walmart is just as good as, um, as Peter Pan or Jiffy. I forgot which one we used, but it's good and it's cheaper as well. Hey, got to cut corner somewhere. One code red, no hate. Um, two jars of Alfredo sauce. I use that as a starter and I always add things to it. A loaf of white bread, of honey wheat bread, some ciabatta rolls. You guys, these are what we like to make for our um, garlic toast. And me and the doodlebug are going to a movie this morning. Um, well, I say this one it's at 11 and so I picked him up some candy and we'll get popcorn and drinks and you guys this is it this is it I think my total came to 200 220 maybe something like that but again I needed dog food and laundry detergent and softener and a lot of these kind of medics medicine those kind of things add up so you know it's all good Thanks for watching. Um, what are you guys cooking this week? I would love to know. What is your favorite thing to cook in the summer? I actually was trying to look up um, summer crock pot meals because it is hot outside and there are some nights I'm scrubbing to dinner trying to find something to eat that don't take forever because I'm exhausted. So <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to know and I will let you go for now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.